everybody and welcome back to Asia Pop Fitness. Uh, I'm Sally and we've been away from each other for a while and I've been in school for my Master Herbalist degree and um, a Yaverta and some other nutritional certificates that I just wanted to freshen up and get a modern day approach on. So we haven't talked in a, in a while and um, there is a new fad going around uh, for the latest weight, late weight loss uh, craze that is officially on the no-no, the no-no list. And all over the place is, um, there's these do-it-yourself beauty groups and stuff, which some of that stuff's okay. Um, a lot of these girls are going to school and becoming official uh, technicians for the do-it-yourself fillers and beauty treatments, and weight loss is right in there with them. And... There's this thing going around called Lipo Lab, Lipo Lax, Lipo this, Lipo that. And basically, they were doing this years ago in doctor's offices where they inject the fatty areas and there's an acid that goes in there and just kind of eats up that little round circle of fat in that area. And then they move over and give you another injection and so forth and so on. And so I would say, you know, like everything, I'm dead set against pills, shakes, shortcuts of any kind. You can do this. It's not that hard to eat right and exercise, and we've been through that um, in other videos. However, you've also heard me talk about myself. Um, but even when I crossed the finish line and I was actually getting like some like muscle, and I was bone thin to the point that people were complaining about my face looking old and falling down. So I had to have a little bit of like filler work and some stuff done to kind of get me back looking normal again. Okay, um, that stuff, I feel like, you know, some of you, you've lost a lot of weight. You may need that surgery to get rid of the excess skin. You know, there is a time and a place for when you need a doctor's help to get you looking okay again. And so I can, I'm like, you know, Libra, I'm balanced. I know that, you know, there's times where you're going to need some little extra help to kind of cross over the finish line. But even when I got right up to the finish line and I crossed over and I was like bone thin, blah, blah, I still had a little bit of belly. I still had a little bit of thighs and I've always been shapely and I've just kind of learned to live with it, you know. But as you guys know, I'm getting close to 50 years old. I, um, I've always had high blood pressure because I'm a very high active, high energy kind of person. And so the doctors were really getting on me about it because of my kidney function was starting to drop. So I'm Anyways, with that, um, the heart with the medication, doesn't matter which one it is because I tried them all, guys, for the last year. I've been really battling my weight. So I know that the, the battle is real. Some of us, we've had kids, we've had babies, and that has an effect. There are certain medical conditions that it does slow down your metabolism, and you do need some help with that. So I figured, well, okay, this is not a pill, this is not a shake, it's not gonna hurt your kidneys or your liver, or do internal damage, and it's not a lose weight quick kind of cheat thing to get out of exercising. This is after you have crossed the finish line and you just need to get that last little correction in there. And so I figured, well, okay, you know, I wanna try this for my clients to see, is it safe, is it effective, does it work, are there wacko side effects, and so, when I talked about on some of these groups that I belong to about the crazy side effects and the things that happened to me, and I'll get to that in a minute, um, a lot of other people started coming out of the woodworks. Now, be forewarned that whenever you go to these beauty sites that sell fillers, that sell you know the weight loss products, that um, any kind of like threading or enhancements, dermabrasion, all that stuff, it's usually they say it right on their website, um, there's no return policy. This is at your own risk. And if you're not licensed or you're gonna lie about being licensed, um, you don't have any certificates at all in the health world at all, um, that's on you, man. Um, so just just know that you know this is at your own risk. I went to a place uh, called Dermix and they didn't have a, a return policy of any kind and I was just so excited about this thing and wanting to try it and see, you know, I'm gonna do real good on that high blood pressure medicine medicine this year. And then I'm gonna to try to find, with my master her, herbalist degree that I just got, I'm going to um, 
try some more holistic natural things to get off that medicine because I mean I just don't like being on medication when you can eat right and exercise but as you know guys sooner or later age is going to catch up with you okay so let's all just age gracefully together okay so anyways i decided i'm gonna try this lipo lab and oh you have to have this needle and you have to give yourself an injection which i've never had to do before in my life so i had to numb myself up and so i thought okay well i'm gonna get rid of that one saddle bag just the one on the one leg that i've had even as a little kid i had these shapely thighs at in dance class so I'm going to, you know, take care of that. And it's a good test area, right? So, you know, it's a little pinprick. It's, you know, and the medicine that goes in, you can feel it sizzling and burning. And it feels like acid. And um, I'll go over later on, you know, in the details of the video, like this is a L-carnitine, hydroloxy, blah, 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 acid, blah, blah. But like I was seeing these chicks about the same age as me in their mid 40s or whatever. I'm at my late 40s. And so um, I'm like, well, maybe I won't have as dramatic of a weight loss change as them. But if it can just kind of curve off that little saddlebag, I would be so happy with that. Right. So it did nothing. Let's just say that, let's get that out of the way. It doesn't work. Now, I'm beginning to think that maybe they had some of those fancy photo editing programs on their cell phone. They're getting really good with those guys where you can make somebody slim down and blah, blah, and it doesn't look like the photo's been retouched at all. So I'm wondering, okay, hmm, are these people, see, there's some people out there that they're they're pretending that they are not official spokespeople but if you order and you use their code they get a little commission and a kickback on some of these products and so of course if they're out there telling everyone oh look at my results they're so fabulous i saw one gal in four days she was almost half the size that she was and then she saw the end result at 10 days and then you wait a week and then you can, you know, two weeks, you can do it again. It's safe to do it again. So I was so excited because I'm like, okay, you know, I eat right. I exercise. Um, I'm in relatively good health, um, except for my, you know, my hyperactivity, my heart wanting to go, go, go. And um, I just didn't get good results. Um, not only that, but the injection site had a rash. <laughs> um, and I didn't know it at the time. I thought because this, we're in the middle of this COVID-19 crisis and I wish you all health and safety and staying home um, at this time. But um, I thought this is a good time to kind of cocoon and you know, come out looking all beautiful and gorgeous, you know. No, that wasn't a good idea. I'm lucky. I'm lucky to be alive. Um, in all seriousness, um, not only did I get a, a horrible rash, but um, I had a little bit of an injury here. I was kind of nursing on my shoulder like I always do. I'm always hurting myself. And um, I had some strange pains in my forearm like something was literally eating it alive like what did the medicine like travel up on the other side of the saddlebag go through my heart and down my arm or something I don't know if the two really had anything to do with each other but when I did it again on my tummy because I thought well it didn't work on my thighs so I might as well just shoot like a few spots in my stomach and Supposedly, you're supposed to do like a million zillion injections um, a centimeter apart all the way across like 200 injections and I'm like, oh no, no. The max I will do that I feel safe is five on, you know, your outer thigh, five on your inner thigh, five on your uh, going one, two, three, four, five across your tummy because I'm not that big anyways you know so maybe bigger people they got to have more injections you know they're they're wider i don't i don't know i don't know so i did five did nothing did nothing nothing on my belly nothing on my thighs didn't give me more energy didn't tighten the skin at least no because i do have some loose skin from where i did lose the weight but not like i need surgery it's just a little jiggly when i when i do my classes right I thought that would at least be a nice addition, if nothing else, but no. Not only did I break out in the rash, but the injection site hurt like hell. And some websites say, wear nice, loose, comfortable pants. Others say, wear compression pants, like Spanx or something, and hold that acid in there so it gets right up against that fat and blasts it away. Nope. And I could barely, barely 
get my compression pants on and off and they weren't that tight either you know it hurt so bad i cannot tell you it was it i would had to take aspirin every four hours it you know and i'm a toughie i work out i lift some weights um you know i can handle some pain right so <laughs> This was bad, okay? And then I started having this weird muscle stuff. Not only that, but I didn't realize it at the time. My The inside of my mouth just broke out in canker sores. I have a, I had a fever blister. Like My immune system just was going crazy. And I thought, oh, it's because I'm having to go to the grocery store myself. I'm, you know, having to take, do all my errands with a mask. And it, maybe I came in contact with someone that had germs. And that's why my immune system is just having a breakdown. That wasn't it. It was the lipo lab. And because when I waited the two and a, I waited two and a half weeks, okay? And I did it on my tummy. And by the third day, um, after getting over the soreness and the rash of the injections um again my mouth the inside of my cheek my tongue under my tongue down in here then i at the same spot boom and then this arm i have been in agony um i did this two weeks ago and i'm still um my sh my entire shoulder um I was trying to exercise after the third or fourth day you can go back to exercising so i'm doing my reach and pulls you know really vigorously you know i'm gonna i've got to get this weight down i i gain like five pounds oh you know and you know, every little pound counts right guys you know if the, your clothes get just a little bit tight and you know, be, you know when that when you're on a high blood pressure type medicine when it slows you down your arms and your feet and everything feels like you have a pound of like five, six, ten pounds of bricks on each leg. It's hard to get up in the morning. You you go through this adjustment period where your body has to get used to this foreign substance that's slowing everything down. And unfortunately, it slows your metabolism down too. And I'm already, I've always been, even when I was five years old, the shapely girl, you know? So, um, you know, just even seeing the scale go up one or two pounds um, I always judge by how my clothes feel and they're a little on the tight side and I'm like, yeah, I can still get in them, but it's uncomfortable and this is serious. <laughs> I can't stand being uncomfortable. Before I was loving it. The tighter it squeezed me, the better, you know, I was loving those size zero jeans that I was able to get into and now I'm back to like a normal six, eight, you know, and I'm like not happy with that. Um, so <laughs> uh, I have to say lipo lab and especially when you order from dermix they sent me a real condescending message about how oh we're really sorry that happened to you but you know the only thing that we can do we don't have a return policy we could never resell that product and i'm like wait a second i'm just telling you that not only does the product not work but it's faulty it's dangerous okay i got a bad batch of the stuff well apparently all these other women when I told my story, they started coming out and telling theirs. Their rashes were full-blown hives. They had they had side effects way worse than I did. I, I mean, I must have got off lucky um, because theirs were bad. Other people said it worked great, especially doing it under the chin. They got like they want to get rid of that double chin, and it tightened the skin and everything like a miracle. Like, well, good for you, but not for me. And I thought I was a perfect candidate. Um, for this stuff and it is an absolute no-go and you know what guys unless I was willing to order $200 worth more of product only then would they give me a 20% discount as a compensation and I'm like okay well you know what you go ahead and you keep that 68 bucks and it was 30 bucks shipping so I knew then they were kind of a, a jakey company but lipo lab to get it anywhere else is over a hundred dollars just so you know this is an investment and um, um, you know don't do it um, and especially don't order from Dermix uh, Dermix you know if you're watching this right now I hope you're satisfied you could have just refunded the $68 and been rid of me but you know if you're gonna treat me like this you're gonna treat everybody else even worse so um, you don't deserve anybody else's business and you know when I told you that hey you know these side effects are serious I ended up in urgent care um, I had to go and get um, something to kind of reverse and the pain management especially and I was scared you know the emotional trauma of going through that and God only knows I mean there was a ballerina a story of a ballerina girl that 
you know, eight months down the road, she started getting skin necrosis and stuff. And it's like, great, I'm just now finding this stuff out after I already did it. I think I will be okay. You know, my, uh, compared in, to some of the other awful things that I saw, um, mine was, I'd say, mild or medium. But guys, again, you know, there is no easy way. You're going to have to just bite the bullet and eat right. Drop the gosh dang donuts and the cookies and the cakes. Get off the sugar. Do your detox teas. Get that stuff out of your system. And once you're, once it's out of your system, those insane cravings, especially at night, they go away. Okay? You know, once you start getting clean and healthy. And so, I, you know, guys, don't do the, the Lipolax. Don't no pills no shakes once you guys start going back to eating a normal diet uh your body's not going to be able to handle that and um even if you think you can taper off everybody who has ever tried to taper off of a liquid diet i have stood back and laughed because i have watched them not only did they gain all their weight back they gained it back double and it's a very very rare occasion where somebody has lucked out and kept the weight off but i mean that might be one out of a hundred um so anyways guys i will um i'm gonna you know edit as i'm talking i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna edit this and i'm gonna show you a picture of the lipo lab stuff the needles that you've got to use which was not pleasant and it you may not feel the injection while you're doing it because it's that part's easy um but it's like three four hours afterwards you start to hurt really bad and it's not fun giving yourself an injection and it just wasn't all around it's it's a no it's an absolute no for me don't try it don't risk your health um i'm i'm grateful i'm grateful that i'm here and that all i got was a whopping cold sore and the rash on my body but um yeah you know i hope that my muscles will be okay pray for me <laughs> you know I, i'd still if i use this arm at all that like sizzling eating away at my muscle kind of pain comes back which is really odd because this is a shoulder injury that i'm nursing right now on this side and um, this should have nothing to do with it but you know these two fingers and my, some of my thumb went completely numb and i have a feeling that the lipo lab had a big big thing to do with it you know i'm just saying um maybe you know i wouldn't have had that um had the numb fingers but i have to sleep now flat back with my head like this and my arm propped up like this on a pillow and it's not fun um, if i sit down on the couch longer than you know 15 20 minutes um the shooting pain is unbearable and so even though i know it's an injury I know Lipo Lab enhanced that injury and because the same thing happened to this arm on an old injury that was like, I'd say 99% healed. And then all of a sudden these weird symptoms of feeling stuff under my skin, it just, ew, yeah. So um, I did this for you guys. I did this so that, you know, you don't have to. So stay away from Lipo Lab, Lipo Lax, Lipo anything. Don't be shooting chemicals and crap in your system i don't care how desperate you get or if you feel like i deserve i shouldn't have had that entitlement you know nobody is special um that whole i deserve i've i've worked so hard and you know that entitlement that was a very wrong spirit to entertain in my life and i pray for forgiveness for that that was just that was wrong of me to do that so um i don't care how hard you busted in the gym how hard you work out at home or whatever don't ever think for a minute that you deserve a break today you know stay the course don't try to take any shortcuts and when you do get older and you are starting to slow down just learn to love yourself guys because you know I'm taking Asia pop fitness to sort of a new level as I age and as I get older I'm you know focusing more on internal health and um, you know I hopefully will have my uh, full script uh, where I can help suggest, you know, um, the herbal remedies and things that ail you up and running pretty soon. So I'm 
taking more of a medical approach now with uh, Asia Pop Fitness. And um, I hope that you will stay with me and let's all just age gracefully and beautifully together. So thank you so much for watching and take care of yourself. If you have any questions about a product, a chemical or whatever, ask me. I probably have tried it in my younger years. I probably already know the answer of whether that's, if it didn't work good for me, it's probably not gonna work good for you. Okay, just saying. So stay safe, stay healthy, and namaste. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.